Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent and the most merciful. Dear students, welcome to Pakistan International School Type, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Virtual Learning System Session 2020. This is a very timely initiative by Pakistan International School Type to start the online classes so that your study may not suffer. We are trying our best to facilitate you in your, the comfort of your homes during this epidemic uh, crisis timing. So <clears throat> I want to start uh, today's lesson and uh, I'm your teacher, Adnan Thabir Mirza. Today is, uh, this, this is uh, English for grade seven. The name of the book is Brighter Grammar, number five. Today is lecture number three, chapter number one. And uh, the name of the chapter is Nouns. In this chapter, I'll give you an introduction about the nouns and we'll do exercise one, two, and three together. So let's begin our work. Write the grammar, class seven. Yes, here we are. I have done some scanning for you from uh, an old book, uh, which was uh, with me last year. And uh, students, I understand that you don't have books. Most of you don't have books. So don't worry about it. Uh, see the screen and uh, you have your book. This is actually your book. Don't worry. So, nouns. All of you know what is a noun. Because from uh, smaller classes, from the primary classes, you are being told about nouns and verbs. So, a noun, as you already know, is the name of some person, place, or thing. For example, Diba, Karachi, Monkey, Weed, Love, Courage, Gold, Table. There are so many examples. Now we have five major kinds of noun. Number one is proper, two common, three collective, four abstract, number five material. About number one, the name given to particular place or thing is called a proper noun. Now, I will explain you through the book. In, in the red line, it is written, read these sentences. Nasir Khan is the captain of our team. We visited the Shalimar gardens yesterday i'm also pointing the mouse where i'm reading number three the indus is a very the indus is a big river <clears throat> in sentence one nasir khan is the name of a particular person in sentence two shalima garden is the name of a particular person and in sentence three indus is the name of a particular river. Hence, Nasir, Khan, Shalimar Gardens, and Indus are proper nouns. Now you see, each of you uh, have uh, some name. 
so number one thing is when you you uh, when we call uh, you by name uh, they are unique the proper nouns are unique and they start with the capital letter like you see nasir khan here in this example and uh, shalimar gardens and indus so always start the proper noun with capital letter <clears throat> Now number two, a name shared in common by every person or thing of the same class or kind is called a common noun. For example, man, boy, girl, book, flower, tree. You see, these are ordinary common names. Every one of you is a boy or a girl, and your father is a man. Every father is a man. So. The above words do not point to any particular man, boy, or girl, etc. But can be, uh, can, but can be used for any man, boy, or girl. You see, hence the they are common nouns. They are common nouns. Number three, a name which stands for a number of persons or things. Regarded as a single unit is called a collective noun. For example, class, like uh, class seven, a collection of students, team, a collection of players, army, a collection of soldiers. So these are called uh, collective nouns. Class, team, army, they are collective nouns. Clear? Number four. <clears throat> Number four. An abstract noun is a name given to a quality, state of being, or feeling. Example. Quality. Quality is our beauty, modesty, courage, honesty, kindness. These are the qualities. State. Boyhood, manhood, pleasure, poverty, death. These are the states. C. Feeling, anger, hatred, joy, love. Now, students, abstract are the <coughs> uh, nouns which are not measurable also and you uh, uh, you cannot uh, say something uh, like angry uh, very angry less angry or you cannot measure it some people can control their anger they they take it inside their heart and sometimes they show it but uh, these things cannot be measured Sometimes people are acting and sometimes they are overacting. So this is just an example. Uh, number five. A material noun is a name of thing that exists only in the form of a mass or heap and cannot be counted. For example, coal, milk, bread, sugar. You cannot count uh, sugar, grains, you you can measure it, but you cannot count it. You can measure it uh, one kilogram, one uh, uh, loaf of bread, or one liter of milk, or uh, similarly coal. These are the material nouns. <clears throat> we cannot say one coal, one milk, one bread, or one sugar. We can say some coal, milk, sugar is a loaf of bread. Sugar, a loaf of bread. Or two loaves of bread. These are examples. <clears throat> you can uh, listen to the video again and again if you feel any confusion. You can also read from the uh, 
screen that is taken from the book. Uh, this is the page number two. First, we have done page number one. If you have book, you can open it side by side. Now, nouns are number. Numbers. A noun which denotes one person or thing is said to be in singular number. Man, example, man, boy, girl, ox, ox, tree, plant, flower. Number two. A noun which denotes more than one person or thing is said to be in plural. Singular plural, very, very simple, the noun number. Men, men, boy, boys, girls, oxen, boxes, trees, plants, are clear. Rules for forming plurals. Number one, plural are generally formed by adding S to the singular. Like bee, bees, cow, cows, king, kings, chair, chairs, dog, dogs, table, tables. Now you see, in uh, converting singular into plural, we usually use S to make it a plural. Number two, if a noun ends in S, AS, SH, CH, or X, then ES is added to the singular. Like singular, S. Plural, S is dish, dishes. Bench, benches. Now, now you can see these five types S, A, S, C, uh, S, H, C, H, X. When they are ending, we, we add the E, S, not the S, like the above case. Gas, gases, box, boxes, box, box. But if C, H is pronounced like K, only S is added. <clears throat> okay. For example, now we have like a monarch, monarches, S. Number three, if a noun ends in Y and the Y has a consonant before it, then Y is changed into I. And ES is added. So we'll replace Y with the I and also add the ES. So consonants, <coughs> here we see the letters A, E, I, O, U, R, vowels or vowels, and the remaining letters of the English alphabets are consonants. So if there is a consonant before this Y, not a vowel, only a consonant, then you will change this Y into I and add the ES. For example, lady. Now you see lady is L-A-D-Y, lady. D. D is before the Y. So you will replace this Y with this I and add the ES. Ladies, pony, ponies, baby, babies. But if the Y has a wall before it, then only S is added to the singular without changing the Y. For example, boy, B-O-Y, boy. Now O is a wall. So we'll add only S after Y. We'll not replace Y with the, with the I, but we'll keep it as it is. Key, keys, monkey, monkeys. Toy, toys, play, plays, valley, valley. Number four, if a noun ends in O and the O has a consonant before it, then ES is added to the singular. Same is the case if the noun is ending in O and it has a consonant. I told you before, consonant are the non-vowels. 
hero heroes just put the es look at this o r is a consonant so we'll add the es this is just to tell you the rules of english language this is actually a non colloquial language non colloquial language uh, are the languages which have a different sound than they spell okay this is the flaw of the english language but uh, since we are learning we have to know different things about it negro negros mosquito mosquitoes mango mangoes echo echoes tomato tomatoes exceptions bamboo bamboos these are the exemptions in which uh, these rules do not apply i said you this is non colloquial piano pianos you you uh, although it is ending with n uh, with o but n is a consonant since we are still we are using s kuku kukus photo photos <clears throat> so this was the introduction how number 5 if a noun ends in f or fe then f or fe is changed into v or es and es is added to the singular like leave leaves loaf loaves wolf wolves knife knives shelf shelves thief thieves exception when we say about wolf we don't say it a dwarf we say it wolf wolf wolves chief chiefs grief griefs safe safes these are the accept, uh, exceptions number 6 a few nouns form their plural by adding rn or en to the singular as ox oxen child children brother brethren the plural of compounds and uh, compound nouns is formed by adding s to the important words as maid servant maid servants hang on hang on father in law fathers in law uh, handful handfuls men servant men servants number 8 the plural of letters titles and figures are formed by adding an apostrophe and s to the singular as m a like master of arts m a and this small comma above it is called apostrophe apostrophe s m a s p p p s four fours means this belongs to like girl so girls with the, an apostrophe means belong to the girls or boy and apostrophe and s boys belong to the boy boy and when the apostrophe is in the end like a boys and then apostrophe and girls then apostrophe that will be for the plural for many boys for many girls number 9 some plurals are formed by changing the vowels in the middle of the singular noun for example women women foot now see a o and these are the words mouse mice this u is a word tooth teeth number 10 some nouns have the same form in the singular and plural as a uh, as dear dear or uh, plural as dear sheep no sheep sheep fish fish singular plural same 
but there is an exception uh, like the in the biological term they say when the fish is of the same kind like the shark if they are if it is one we say it fish when they are 10 we'll still say it fish but when shark and uh, the dolphins and others are mixed they will be fishes but still for for this level for this stage it uh, the fish plural of the fish is fish swine swine doesn't score gross hundred thousand eleven some nouns are used only in the plural as people cattle gentry spectacles spectacles are the glasses okay scissors tongues fetters pajamas trousers socks stockings tanks arms alley salad arms riches wages vegetable goods number 12 the following nouns are generally used in the singular form mathematics physics news furniture scenery abuse clothing hair bedding poetry fruit advice they are usually considered as singular <clears throat> no i think there is exercise yes this is the exercise one exercise one yes insert the singular or plural form of the noun given in the brackets this is the same uh, blanks it was done but i have had to do some artwork on it because the books are used so number one is the dash is a beautiful animal cow now is a beautiful animal you should know what is a what is the plural uh, uh, what is the singular of cow cow is itself a singular i'll read it and i have the answers here for you okay <clears throat> i'll read it and then i'll show you the answers i have white dash two three the dash is in karachi are very crowded road r is and r number four it is very expensive to uh, engage to man servant these days Number five, she gave only one dash of it, half. Political leaders have many dash hang on. The dash of Pakistan will be defeated by one enemy. The, it, uh, the dash of Romeo and Juliet is very tragic. Story, how many are there in this tall building <clears throat> so so these are actually 20 sentences and i have these answers for you so your homework is to uh, write full sentences and the blanks and underline them in your notebooks Cows, teeth, road, men, servants, house, hang ons, enemies, stories, stories. Here, the eight, uh, eight and uh, seven, eight, nine. Let me make it clear this is uh, more important. Eight and nine. Yes, 
the dash of romeo and juliet is very tragic story story is the singular it will be same but number 9 how many dash are there in a tall building story now you see the story this is s t o r e y story the plural of the end of it but in number 10 the the uh, the the dash in arabian nights are so amusing the stories now we'll remove this y and put an i e s let me check 89 and 10 yes here you see if i reduce this for you i think it has gone out of focus one minute yes so number 10 stories and then men to baby mice i think uh, you can do it buffalo judges wives now number 2 these i these sentences changing the nouns from the singular to the plural and make necessary changes a child is playing with a toy children the children are playing with toys a uh, fly bit a mouse the fly bit mice so we'll uh, make the singular to the plural number 3 a man foot is bigger than a woman's the men's foot the men's feet are bigger than women's number 4 he is neither a thief uh, neither a chief nor a king they are neither chiefs chiefs nor kings there is a bridge on the river there are bridges on the rivers we are making the singulars into plural an ox a monkey a fox and a wolf are wandering in the jungle a baby is playing with a kitten a leaf was picked by a dove a goose a waterfall and a fish were swimming in the river the horse is pulling the heavy load of hay now here you have answers the children are playing with toys the flies bit the mice the men's feet are bigger than the women's they are neither the chiefs nor the kings they are the there are bridges on the rivers the oxen monkeys foxes and wolves were wandering in the jungles the babies are playing with the kittens the leaves were picked by the dove the geese water poles and fish were swimming in the river now fish it was a fish uh, so the fish will be, remain fish the horses are pulling in the heavy load of hay hay the hay number 2 number 3 so similarly you will uh, do exercise 1 uh, and 2 in your notebooks answer and uh, question and answers full Uh, exercise three: Fill in the blanks with uh, with is or are, singular plural. Whatever we have read in the introduction, 
uh, you are supposed to do it now. Number one, 20 heads of cattle, they are for sale. The gentry dash invited to tea, the cattle drinking at the river, arms given to the beggar, the century of the scenery of Sawat is charming. The wages of railway pulleys dash is five per trip. RS means rupees. Every country uh, has its own currency and its own abbreviation. Number seven, his uh, goods dash missing. Many thanks dash due to you for your kindness. Number nine, dash this furniture for sale. Number ten, his bedding dash dirty. The answers. Here are the answers. So you will match it. So that's it for today. The next lesson about the brighter grammar will be about the countable and uncountable grammar. This is enough for today. Now you have to uh, do the reading again for one, two times and then do the exercise one, two and three in your notebooks. Write the date at the top of your your copy of the page uh, write the subject write the uh, lesson name chapter name and then uh, uh, start with the um, uh, exercise number one uh, write write the instructions before starting then write the sentence then write the answers so this is now uh, uh, the end for for this uh, session and inshallah see you soon. Assalamu alaikum.